Welcome to Weld.com. Recently had a, a customer ask about, you know, can you do one of these speed runs on some 6G, four inch pipe? I've got four inch schedule 40, uh, 332nd root face, uh, a good heavy 332nd in the root opening. I've, I've fattened this up a little bit. And in doing that, I've turned my amperage back down to 75. I'm running off a, an Aesop Renegade crispy little unit that that is, fun machine to run off of. Um, runs the 6010 quite well, I like it. You have some control in there on that crisp feature, whether it's digging or running it kind of soft. I wanna run a root in here, and then when we get to the, the hot pass, I want to slow down a little bit and do a manipulation and fill this thing pretty much, I, I wanna fill it where I can just go straight to cap. Okay, and I may switch to a 532nd. Don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll see when I get into it, but the whole attempt here is, it's kind of like the horizontal runs. You know, I think the customer's having trouble blowing this thing up, and I believe that is from going too slow and maybe having a, a too long of an arc or something. I believe in directing that arc in there and getting control of that weld pool, putting it in there, making it stay. Again, this is quick, I know, that we've done some other runs on some other uh, 6010 work <clears throat> on route passes. Anyway, I want to get some uh, want to get some gear on. I'll be right back. Trying to keep my rod pointed at the center of the pipe at all times. Thereabouts. I left that keyhole alone, started back on the bead, reestablished the keyhole and took off again. Coming up on a tack that I have feathered. And I went slightly over the top and I'll leave that alone. <clears throat> we'll go buff this out and we'll come back and we'll do a hot pass. Welcome back, I went off camera and uh, <clears throat> did my normal cleaning stuff. I didn't get nuts with the grinder because again, I said I was gonna carry a fair amount of metal and fill this up a little bit. So I reground where my start and stop was coming off that keyhole and I buffed it. I have light slag showing, it's okay. I'm gonna get it with the arc. So the intent here on this next pass is to stitch and come back and pause, stitch and pause in the attempt to get this filled up enough so we can just go straight to cap. Now, could I, could I go straight to a low hydrogen electrode and do the same thing? Yeah, I could and then, you know, maybe we'll do it half and half. Maybe we'll, I'll come 60-10 over here and do 7018. It's gonna, it's anything to get this pass up to go straight to cap. That's the whole point. Okay, so we ran a route. You know, if we were running a hot pass and we held it, uh, boom. I mean, this is just kind of a speed run. We don't need to spend a whole lot of time making this weld. So let me get my hood on. We'll do a, by looking at this, I think I am gonna stay with the eighth inch and I have turned my amperage up to 85, okay? Normally I'd go a little higher than that. Again, the last thing I wanna do is blow this out, blow my root up and go through. But since I'm gonna be carrying a lot of metal, then I don't wanna go very high. If I was gonna run hot and fast, then I'd be up at 95 and 100. 
to do my hot pass and, and really fly and stitch it in there. But again, that would just be a quick hot pass. This one's going to be kind of a hot and fill combination, so to speak. Okay, makes sense. Some of you have asked me this before in private messages, all kinds of ways to put the electrode in there. But you'll see me do this, and you, you've been asking why. Go all kinds of different angles. Again, I like to point this rod into the center of the pipe. A little uphill procedure here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this with 60-10 run. Camera guy said he wanted to get this whip and pause, whip and nay nay. Uh, welcome back. I went ahead and just, you know, for time's sake, I ran this first bead in here. Said I was going to do a two bead cap and it set up nicely. Uh, and then I went ahead and took the thin bladed grinder and just barely cut the top side. Here's a point I want to make. You guys need to be careful with your grinders. You need to be careful with arc strikes and you need to be careful with your grinders. I've seen a lot of pipe welds got grind marks all over the pipe, pipe where they miss and slip and all that kind of stuff. Be careful with it, show some quality. Um, we'll, uh, we'll go back in here and we'll do this last pass. I'm really confident that one more pass will fit in here nicely to complete this. I believe I have a restart like right in here somewhere. That's with a variation of the width of that, so. Uh, we're doing okay so far. Profile wise, we're up above the plate like we're or up above the pipe and the profile like we're supposed to. Don't have any undercut. Last thing I want to do is is leave undercut on the top side of this second pass. We're generously warm. I'm at 78 amps. I'm gonna leave it. One thing I do want to note: when I change this over, I change the machine over since it runs 6010, 7018, and has settings for both. I came off of 60-10 and 50% or 50 on the crisp side of it, crisp and soft. I changed it to 70-18, 78 amps, and I put it down on like 30 for the crisp and soft. And I had called an engineer when we first got this machine. I called an engineer with ESOB and we were talking and he goes something about the arc features. And I was joking with him and I'm... I probably could do this. I think I could weld 7018 in a dress shirt and tie and not get burnt up. This thing is pretty smooth. I don't notice a lot of heavy pop. I, I just notice good arc, smooth arc and, and good deposition to it. So, all right, let me, uh, let me, let me get on this weld here.
This will conclude our run. I did a two bead cap on this. Kind of missed over here. When I terminated this over here, I must have, I don't know if I flinched a little bit, but it was like it was dug out a little bit on the top side. So when I restarted, I moved over and filled it. And you can notice it, but again, uh, everything is above the pipe. It's blended in fairly nice. I, want, I do want to go over here and cut this. I'll saw cut it so we can look at the root. And uh, I think it'll, <clears throat> I think it ran in there nicely. I looked at it with a flashlight earlier when I was halfway done with it. Uh, shout out to Plim Event, man, I'm telling you, this thing is nice. Plus the cameraman likes to use it as a prop for his little GoPro. He's having fun with it. Hopefully we can get some good, some good shots out of it. Again, the whole point is uh, get comfortable with your, your setup, your fit up, your amperages, a close arc, watch that keyhole, make sure the arc is on both sides and progress that bead up. I did a little option where I kind of slowed down and just filled this thing up on the hot pass and went straight to a two bead cap. We, we have options there of what we could have done for um, grinding that out. We could have run a real light hot pass, gone, gone multiple stringers. We could have run a bigger rods on, uh, on the uh, 7018. So anyway, I hope this helps and I hope it satisfied the, the viewer question and the, the, the problem that he was having with this route and this whole run here. Uh, appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the videos. Thank you. No, I gotta get up off the flow. Oh, gonna make me get down on one knee again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs>